Okay, let's do some physics problems. So here's the, the situation. There's a lot of problems that are just like this, uh, but let's just get to it. So I have a block and it's on a table. And then there's a block on the block, a block on the block. and But I pull on the bottom block. And the question is, what's the acceleration of these two? So we need some values and I should have put these down here before. I'm gonna just make up stuff. MA, the one on the top has a mass of 100 grams. So 0 0.1 kilogram. MB has a mass of, it looks bigger, so let's just say 0 0.2 kilograms. Okay, now I actually have two surfaces. I have a surface right here and a surface right there. So I have two different coefficients. I'll call this one coefficient, and they're both gonna be sliding. So let's say mu K1 equals, uh, how about 0 0.1? And mu K2 for the bottom surface is gonna be 0 0.3. I don't wanna put 0.2 because it matched too much. Okay, and then I pull with a force of equal to, let's see, so one Newton, I don't wanna pull too much. So one, so that would be, has a weight of 3.3, .3, so three Newtons. So let's say two, 1.8 Newtons. Okay, now the first thing I'm gonna do is to draw a force diagram from blocks, block A. So here's A. So what forces are acting on block A? Well, we have the downward gravitational force, MA, oh, that's big A, G. And remember, G is the vector, it's the gravitational field, zero, negative 9.8, zero newtons per kilogram. What else is on there? Well, I have block B pushes up Right, and that's a normal force. So I'm gonna call this N B A. It's the normal force of B pushing up on A. And what else is acting on that? Well, there is a frictional force. If this is pulling this way and accelerating that way and sliding, then this one is gonna be moving relative to that one. So since this is moving that way, relative, it'll be moving that way. So there'll be a friction force in the backwards direction moving this way. So I have this, I'll call this, uh, I'll just call this lowercase f a. It's the friction force on a. Now notice that the block actually moves this way in the same direction as the kinetic friction force, but it's sliding backwards relative to b. I know that's kind of weird, okay. So actually in this case, I should be able to figure everything out, right? I should be able to find the acceleration of this block. So I can write this, F net A is gonna be M A acceleration A as vectors. Now, sometimes it's better to put things in terms of X and Y direction. So let's just look at this in just the Y direction first. So F net Y is gonna be N B A minus M A G equals zero. Okay, so there's, there's important things here. Number one, um, why is this minus? This is minus because G is the magnitude of the gravitational field, so it has a magnitude of 9.8. And it's minus because it has a negative Y component. Why is this zero? It's zero because the acceleration in the Y direction is zero. The block stays on the other block. So from this, I can say the magnitude in BA equals MAG by just solving that. Now, why do we care about the normal force on block A? It's because the frictional force, the magnitude of the frictional force depends on this. So here's our model for the frictional force. FA is equal to mu K1, it's the coefficient of friction right there, times N BA. This is not a vector equation because the frictional force is that way and the normal force is that way. So they can't be vectors, but that's the magnitude. So now I know the frictional force. I know NBA and I can set this. This is the only force in the X direction. So I can say F net X equals this force, mu K1, NB. And instead of NBA, I'm going to put this, MAG, and that's going to be equal to MA a a in the x direction so now i can solve for 
the coefficient, the acceleration, the mass cancels, you'll notice that. And I get AA equals mu k1 g. And that g is a magnitude. So this is going to be mu k1 is 0 0.1, g is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. Uh, the coefficient of friction has no units, a coefficient. So this is going to be, I can do this one in my head. It's going to be 0 0.98. And then a newton per kilogram is also a meter per second squared. So that's the acceleration for the top block. Okay, so now what about block B? So let's draw block B right here. What forces are acting on block B? Well, I have the downward gravitational force. MBG. I have this force right here, which I'll just call F. I should draw right there. F. There's going to be a backwards force, frictional force, between this surface, the bottom surface, and the block. If the block's accelerating this way, then there's going to be a backwards force. I'll call this F, what do I call that? FA? I call this FB. Okay. There's going to be a normal force on the table pushing up, but there's also this force. If B pushes up on A, then A has to push down on B with the same magnitude. So I'm going to put that right here. It's that same force right there. It's in A, B. It's the opposite of that force. So then I have to have also, if F A is a force actually from B pushing on A that way. So there is a backwards pushing force F, I call it, what should I call it? F B prime, F A prime, I guess I should call it. And it's going to be pushing this way. F A prime. It's not the same thing. And I, I don't know, that's probably the, not the, the, the best way to write that. But So now I have one more force. I have the table pushing up and I'll call that this, it's got to be it's bigger than that, but I'll just call that NA, right? It doesn't really matter. I don't want to, I don't care about the table. Okay, so let's write down F net in the, that's my one thing. Let's write down F, I actually know this force already, because it's there. I know this force already, because it's there. So I can write F net Y equals NA minus NAB Wait, that's B. I'm going to call that B. I'm sorry. NB minus MBG equals zero. So now I get NB equals NAB plus MBG. Why do I care about that? Because I'm going to need to find this frictional force. And that frictional force depends on that. It depends on that normal force. Um, so, and I can put in in a B, which is up here. So it's just going to be M A plus M B times G. And if you said that from the beginning, you said, oh, look, the weight, the normal force on B is just this, treating this like one thing. That's cool. I mean, you should understand that that's a shortcut, but that's still cool. Okay. So I have F A right here. It's actually going to be, I'll write it out as mu k1 m a g uh, f b is going to be equal to mu k2 because it's this surface right here times n b but i'm going to go ahead and put in n b as this m a plus m b g so now i can write the net force in the x direction f net x equals, what do I have? I have F, the magnitude in the X direction, which is 1.8, and then I have minus FA prime minus FB. So this is going to be 1.8, I'll leave off the units, minus FA prime, which is mu K1 MAG minus FB, which is this right here, minus mu K 2 M A plus M M B G. So now I just need to put in my value. So let's just do that. Turn on my calculator. Okay. So I'm going to start right here. 
1.8, enter. Now I'm going to enter this term right here, so that's mu k1 is 0.1, enter. ma is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 times. g is 9.8 times. And then I need to subtract that from this, so I'm going to say subtract. So I, I've got this part done. Now I'm going to get this part right here. Oh wait, that's the, and that's equal to uh, m b a b. So I'm going to I'm going to divide all that by m b after I get done. So I've gotten those two. Now I need to do this one. Mu k two is 0 0.3, 0 0.3 enter. And then I need the sum of the masses. So it's 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2. So 0 0.3 times 9.8 times. And then I'm going to subtract all this from the thing I have right there. I have 0.82. Now I need to divide by MB, which was 0 0.2. 0 0.2 divided by. And I get an acceleration of 4.1 meters per second squared. OK, so what's happening here? You'll notice that this one is accelerating more than that one um, because this one is accelerating from the, the coefficient of friction down here, but this one's accelerating from this very large force uh, right there. Um, okay, I think that's good. There's a lot of things you could play with here. Uh, if you want an extra problem, here you could try this. I'll put it in red. What if I pull on the top block? Will that make the bottom block accelerate, and what would it be? What if I pull on the bottom block at an angle? Try that one. There's some extra homework problems for you. All right, we'll do another problem. I'll talk to you guys later.